Ciao, sono Andrea Salvioli. Hello, I'm Andrea Salvioli, product specialist at DB Technologies. In this video, I'll describe the main sources of interference that may give you a hard time installing a wireless system and, most importantly, how to manage them. In the wireless and broadcasting industries, all electronic systems generate interference in one way or another. For example, on live music stages, our system is used at the same time as others. Radio microphones, in-ear monitors, camera control systems, stage lighting and video screens may also cause interference to our system. During the show, though, stage equipment is not the only element. There are mobile phones among the audience, as well as service walkie-talkies. Moreover, the outer world should not be forgotten, with its TV broadcasters and digital radios, not to mention high-voltage lines. Let us now consider an example of how available frequencies are divided. As you may notice, the broadcasting part is in common with digital TV broadcasters, and at higher frequencies it borders with telephony, LTE 4G. If I take another country, the allocation is different. Indeed, every country has its own rules for the use of transmission frequencies. Moreover, these rules change by the year. In all fairness, the world of wireless systems is far from easy. This is why the systems in use must necessarily be strong against interference, equipped with a switchband as broad as possible in order to be more nimble in choosing frequencies, suitable to be updated in order to adapt to regulatory changes. Bearing in mind all of the other factors described in the other videos of this series, the last fundamental operation to reduce problems to a minimum is called walk test. This is a final test involving the entire system being used in the area. This test allows us to make sure that all measures taken are actually effective. Therefore, this test must be run with all electronic devices turned on in order to check the setup in a condition as real as possible, especially right before the show when some of the conditions may have changed. If the walk test should detect some problems, then channel selection, disturbance, antenna position, cable connection, transmission power and reception power must all be thoroughly checked. All these aspects are dealt with specifically in the other videos of the series. In this video, we considered how complex the world of wireless systems is. Though at the same time, we discussed all the elements that must be kept into account for proper installation. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and see you in our next video. Bye.